Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. There is a new musical pulse happening in the Southwest. It's bicultural, it's bilingual, and it's definitely reflective of a new time. They call it border town music, a special blend of Mexican sounds, the soul of classic boleros, and the intense rhythms of American rock and roll. And in the band called the Chamanas, we find an act that has taken this music from the Texas-Mexico border to the rest of the country. But first stop is right here on Latin Nation. Check it out. Hi guys, we're the Chamanas, and we are from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, and El Paso, Texas, the La Frontera. Más fabulosa y bella del mundo. Ah. This, this project started like uh, almost two years ago, maybe when, when Manuel and I met at this uh, recording studio called uh, Sonic Ranch, which is over there in El Paso, Texas. The project began me and Nectar just doing projects on our own, you know, because we were always stuck uh, at Sonic Ranch doing records for other artists, but we like, uh, we, let's do something on our own for fun. So we started making ideas. We, we started with this idea to do a, a musical project, you know, so that's where, all, where, where everything started. Firstly, I would say I like to consider myself an ethnomusicological singer. Like I like different cultures and different styles of music. We use the term uh, musica fronteriza because there's a lot of influence, and that's what happens in, in the border too. You know, we have people from all over Mexico, all over the U.S., and they all go to the border, and it all kind of melts down into to this called the chamanas. Well, I think as a as a border citizen. I think it creates a lot of tolerance more than anything. A lot of patience because there's like generational acculturation and it has so much to do with especially language. There's like different levels of Spanish and there's different levels of English and there's different levels of Spanglish. I, I feel like the Fronterizo experience has a lot to do with tolerance and, and um, understanding. Well, I would say like the culprit is nostalgia, no? Like we kind of grew up with this music, uh, listening to it from our parents. And we, and when you're a kid, you're like, ugh, why? Take this off, this is boring. And then, you know, you move out and you do your thing. And there comes a point where you run into these songs again and you're like, oh, I remember my jefito or my jefita and they would play this. And, and so it just kind of, it brings back that nostalgia and then you start really understanding because life hits you and you realize these songs really mean something. You're influenced by a lot of stuff. Like being from, from the border, you get to, to know all these corridos, all these rancheras, musica de banda. At the same time, you get to know Michael Jackson and all these cool bands from the U.S. And I think that that's what we like naturally did to our album called Once Once. So it's, it, it came natural to us because that's how we grew up. You get to grow with, uh, by a lot of experiences. We got to, to do a tour with Beach House in, in Texas. So that was like amazing because all the shows were sold out. So that was like very big to us. We went to Vive Latino. We went to South by Southwest. We're ready to, to run, you know. We're ready to jump and we're ready to expose ourselves and be vulnerable and, and connect, like really connecting. And so it's really beautiful to have an opportunity on a stage every time we play to connect with the people that are there that time because it's that will never repeat itself ever again. Mm -hmm. 